Okay, I'm sharing screen and we will go ahead. Yeah, so this is what I was uh, uh, like we were studying yesterday. It is a structure, internal structure of seminal vesicle. This structure, uh, whatever you see over here right now, it is a section. It is a micro, uh, like it is a photograph under microscope. Okay, so so uh, we will see what we can, what we actually see in reality. Okay, and what we see in this particular. Uh, section okay because all the stages all the time we cannot see okay so we will draw the diagram and we will go ahead okay it is what structure of seminal seminiferous tibia internal structure of seminiferous tibia see Suppose I draw seminiferous tubule like this. Okay, in one testicular lobule, there are two or three seminiferous tubules are there. So suppose this is one seminiferous tubule, there will be more around it. Okay, remember this. And there will be even space between them. So one suppose seminiferous tubule will be over here, one more somewhere else, like here or somewhere. Okay. Now, when you see a seminiferous tubule, remember. The seminiferous tubule is lined by lined by epithelial cells. Okay. And these are very, very special cells. And we were talking about them yesterday. And uh, we were talking about them yesterday, and uh, like our call got in there. So I want you to understand this part. See, when we see this tissue, okay, it they they are basically they look like a cuboidal epithelium. The cells look like cuboidal epithelium. Cuboidal epithelium you uh, studied last year, and this was Sakshi you were telling me. Okay, but these are these are cuboidal epithelium. That there is no doubt about it. Cuboidal epithelium means a cube-like. See here, I couldn't draw a cube-like structure, but they are exactly like cube. They don't keep any distance between them. Their nucleus is centrally located. Correct. Remember yes, epithelial cells? Huh? So you studied last year many epithelial tissue. But these are little yeah. special. Okay. These are see cuboidal epithelium we are having in kidney also. Cuboidal epithelium we are having in many locations in our body. But this particular cuboidal epithelium, which is located inside seminiferous tubule, is little different okay, than any others, any other type of cells in our body. It is basically a germinal epithelium. It is what? Germinal epithelium. We will talk about germinal epithelium. We need to talk about germinal epithelium little more. Okay. So let us go out of topic a little bit. This whatever I am teaching you right now, write it, you know, write it uh, somewhere in margin or something. It is the knowledge you should have. Okay. As I told you, there are some basic knowledge in uh, in biology. It is one of that basic knowledge, okay? And you must have studied it last year. It may be a little bit out of mind or, you know, I don't know. That topic must not be deleted. Uh, okay, I'll teach you. I'll tell you. If you recollect it, tell me. If you know it, it is well and good. If you don't know, uh, try to understand right now. When I talk about sexually reproducing organism, when I talk about sexually reproducing organisms, any, huh? any, whether it is sexually reproducing plant, whether it is sexually reproducing animal, simple animal, complex animal, the uh, like condition is that it should be sexually reproducing. In sexually reproducing animal, we see two different type of cell lines. What we see? Two different type of cell lines. Okay. One cell line is called as the somatic cell line. One cell line is called as somatic cell line. Okay. Somatic cell line make up whole our body. This these cells make complete body. Okay. 
कंप्लीट बॉडी सो मोस्ट ऑफ अवर बॉडी और नाइंटी नाइन पॉइंट नाइंटी नाइन परसेंट ऑफ अवर बॉडी इज मेड अप ऑफ सोमैटिक सेल लाइन अंडरस्टैंडिंग अवर स्किन अवर मसल्स अवर ब्रेन अवर ऑल द पार्ट विच यू सी आर बेसिकली मेड अप ऑफ सोमैटिक सेल लाइन अंडरस्टैंडिंग इट मेकअप अवर बॉडी ओके दीज सेल्स मेकअप अवर बॉडी फाइन ना दीज सेल्स अंडर गो अंडर गो अ सेल डिविजन प्रोसेस कॉल्ड एट माइटोसिस दे कैन अंडर गो ओनली वन टाइप ऑफ सेल डिविजन कॉल्ड एट माइटोसिस दे कैनॉट डू मिओसिस सोमैटिक सेल लाइन कैन जस्ट अंडर गो द प्रोसेस ऑफ माइटोसिस and mitosis whenever mitosis happen number of cell increased correct mitosis result in increase in number of cells correct cell increases see initially we start our life with single cell called zygote then one cell divide into two two into four four into eight eight into 16 16 into 32 likewise number of cells go on increasing number of cell increases that means size of an organism increases correct size of an organism increases means it is growth agree getting my point see we are growing means what exactly happening number of cells in our body increases cell size have limitations correct cell size cannot grow very yes, large correct a uh, we growing kids small kids grow means what happen number of cells in their body increases and which cells are basically increasing somatic cells so whatever tissue you studied last year like epithelial tissue okay epithelial tissue then muscular tissue muscular then you study connective tissue fine right? connective tissue then you study study nervous tissue right You studied all these tissues last year, correct? Nervous yes, tissue. All these tissues come under somatic cell line. Fine. All these tissues are what? Somatic cells or somatic cell line. Fine. All these tissue consist of or made up of up of somatic cells. Fine. Clear? Means that cell line of my body is somatic cell line. Is that clear? yes ma'am but on the other hand we are having very few cells now remember these are somatic cells are billions of cells because whole my body is made up of means when i talk about plant or human being they are billions of cells fine right? there are so many cells out there somatic cells but on the other hand the other cell line it is called as the germ cell line germ cell line germ cell line is the cell line which is present or located only inside primary reproductive organs primary sex organs better to say so in case of male it is located inside testes and particularly inside seminiferous tubule fine okay inside in case of female it is located inside ovaries which are which is our primary sex organ fine right? okay let me give you more familiar example in case of plant uh, it is in the flower whole whole rest of whole plant is basically somatic cell line and in the plants it is present inside the flowers got it it is located inside the flower and inside the flower also inside that new cellus fine right? in case of ovary and means ovule inside the ovule and only inside the new cellus and in case of uh, male it is located in the anther in that megasporangium remember correct yes ma'am so only those few cells okay few hundreds of cells are a germ cell line and what is the speciality of these cells okay these cells can undergo cell division two types of cell division it can do it can do normal mitosis fine it can increase cell number right 
one cell divided into two, two into four. That happens. But along with that, it also follows meiosis. These are the only cells in our body which can do meiosis. Our muscle cell cannot do meiosis. Our skin cell, skin cell cannot do meiosis. Understanding? Meiosis is a special cell division which can be done only by germ cell line. Fine? Clear about it? Girl? And so this germ cell line is located in ovary also? Only, yes. Only in the primary sex organ, whether male or female. Understanding? Manjiri, yes, Prachi, Glory, is it clear? Hmm? And don't consider yes, only... Don't consider only in human or only in plants. Okay, it is present in earthworm also. It is present in you know any any sexually reproducing animal you consider. Fine, anyone got it? Just it has to be sexually reproducing. Okay, some animals. Do it doesn't not... has any uh, functions particularly like. What germs and like it has function. Of course, who will produce gamete? Let's talk about it. Yeah, it produces gamete. See, germ cell line is the cell line which undergo meiosis to produce gamete. See, remember, human being in our body, we are having two n number of chromosomes. Agree? We are diploid, correct? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. After meiosis cell division, remember? Last year you studied meiosis. Remember meiosis? Yeah. Hmm? Reductional division. Reductional division means what happened? N, correct? N. Uh, from 2N, it's N. N. So let me explain it a little bit, little bit uh, elaborated. Okay. Try to understand this. Uh, okay, you can write it under germ cell line or not. That is your decision, but you should understand it. 2N, all sexually reproducing organisms are diploid. Not all, there are exceptions, but let us consider average case. We, human being, deployed. Okay, we deployed our germ cell lines are also deployed, correct? Germ cell line is deployed. Okay, germ cell line is deployed. Agree? Line is deployed, means whatever cells inside the testes are deployed, right? Then these cells undergo a process called as meiosis 1. Just a second, let me put an arrow properly. These are the basics of biology. In 11th, no, basically you learn all basics of biology, which are a little, you know, little tricky to understand. But once you understand that, you will understand everything. So 11th we find very difficult. Okay, and but if we understand 11, 12 become very, very easy. Okay, remember meiosis is completed in two steps, meiosis 1 and meiosis 2, right? Meiosis 1 is a reductional cell division, reductional cell division, okay? So it will happen N and N, two cells of N and N are formed, okay? Haploid, these cells are called as haploid cells, okay? Why, why this division? We will talk a little bit later. Then meiosis 1 is followed by meiosis 2. Meiosis 1 is followed by meiosis 2. Okay. Meiosis 2 again N, again N, again N, and again N. So ultimately at the end of meiosis, okay, we get four cells. We get basically better to say we get four haploid cells. Four haploid cells. Understand it? We get four haploid cells. Fine. That is important. Clear about it? Yes, ma'am. Now, why this cell division? Just oh, one second. Let me just take some. Oh, yes. Oh. <clears throat> okay. So why? Why we need to have two cell light? Why so complicated? Why sexually reproducing organism need to be complicated, right? Maintain two cell line and everything. Try to understand why this separation happened. During evolution, all these processes occur, correct? So why this separation happened, that you need to understand, okay? 
uh, see, we are little bit moving away from our sperm production, okay? But these things you got to understand. Then only it will be easy for you to understand the further stuff. Okay, now why this all stuff? Try to understand. See, whenever I talk about normal sexual reproduction, sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction means what? Male, uh, like uh, cell from male. Let us talk about male gamete. Suppose we don't know what is male gamete. So let us consider cell from male, cell from one organism. Let us consider in male, cell from another female organism. Okay? Female. They should come together. Then only, and fertilization should happen. Then only we will call it as a sexual reproduction. Agree? Agree? Yes, ma'am. Now, usually our somatic cells, they cannot do meiosis. So they are deployed and these are also deployed, correct? After fertilization, it will become 4N, agree? Two from male, two sets of chromosome from male, two sets of chromosome from female, okay? So suppose it is human being, our chromosome number is 46, 46 from male, 46 from, 46 from female. So total how many? 40, 40, 80, 12, 92, correct? 92 chromosome child will be produced. Okay? Agree? Yes, ma'am. And having a specific number of chromosome is a specialty of like what make us human. Having 46 chromosome make us human. Correct? Every organ, every species chromosome number is fixed. That's what make us one species. Understand it? And every time in reproduction, if number of chromosome get changed, then motive of reproduction will change. Agree? Yes. Motive of reproduction is what? Production of organism of its own species. Every time a species getting changed, then it won't be a sexual reproduction. Agree? Understand it? And suppose every time this process continued, one child is 90 with 92 chromosome, next child will be 92 plus 92. Correct? Understanding? So on yes. earth, at certain point, there won't be anything other than DNA. Correct? There won't be any place. Everything will fill with DNA. Agree? So, yeah. so meiosis came into existence like during evolution only for this purpose. So to solve this problem of increasing number of chromosome every time, <clears throat> what body did during evolution? Body created different type of cells which undergo special cell division. Those cells are called as germ cells or germ cell line. Germ cells, they are the one which have ability to undergo meiosis Okay, so in this 2N will get converted into N haploid and these will be gametes. Agree? Deployed to haploid will be gamete. So suppose this is male, 2N, male gamete. Agree? Male gamete will be N. Here there will be female. She is also 2N, female. That female will produce female gamete. Agree? Female gamete, male gamete and female gamete will unite during fertilization. Fine. Unite during fertilization to produce 2N. Original zygote will be 2N. Agree? And original um, chromosome number will be regained. 46. So uh, 46 is our chromosome number. Female will be also 46 in human, agree? Gamete will be 23. Female gamete will be 23. And finally, zygote will be 46 back. So species is maintained. Understand it? This was actually in uh, 10th standard in uh, CBSC syllabus. Uh, in 10th standard, all this stuff, are, stuff is there. How reproduction is possible? Why sexual reproduction became possible? Uh, you, you never had this in your book? In school, 10th standard and all? No?
You had this, Sejal. You had this in tenth standard, tenth or ninth, whenever you studied reproduction topic. No. Yes or no? You had this? Yes, ma'am, we had. Ah, that? How could you forget? When you go in the next class, you should not forget what you studied in previous classes. That is your base. Okay, so let's come back to our <clears throat> seminiferous tubule. Now, this uh, these cells, these cuboidal epithelium, which are present on the lining of the uh, seminiferous tubule. Remember, such a long pipe, very long pipe, seminiferous tubule is very long pipe. It is forcefully fitted into the testicular nodule, correct? So, whole pipe is lined by this germinal epithelium, okay? This germinal epithelium like what we see in the seminiferous tubule, that we will talk first. This germinal epithelium are very small cells. Size-wise, these are very small cells, okay? And they are the ones which are continuously undergoing the process of meiosis, okay? And to develop sperm. How the sperm development takes place, that we will study little afterwards. So first thing we, which we see inside the seminiferous tubule, is a germinal epithelium and in between the germinal epithelium there are some very tall cells we can see what happened how they produce sperm that we will learn little later okay but right now one second Okay, so when we see the section of seminiferous tubule, this cuboidal epithelium, this germinal epithelium basically are very, very small cells. Okay, these are very small cells. And in between, we see fairly larger sized cells. Okay, in between, we see fairly larger sized cells. Okay, these larger sized cells are called as serotoli cells. Serotoli cells. Now, I want you to remember one thing. Only germinal epithelium cells can undergo meiosis. Serotonin cells cannot undergo meiosis. Remember? Okay, remember this. Now, remember this cuboidal epithelium, this germinal epithelium are so small cells, they cannot store food for themselves. Understanding? They cannot store food for themselves. And serotonin cells provide nourishment, provide nourishment, nourishment or nutrition to developing developing uh, you know sperm or developing uh, germinal epithelium understanding germinal epithelium now germinal epithelium undergo the process of something called as spermatogenesis i will teach you spermatogenesis after this i am going to teach you spermatogenesis but remember they undergo the process of spermatogenesis, that is production of sperm. And this pro process is uh, going on, okay? And remember, spermatogenesis is not a single step process. It is a multiple step process. 
So we can see inside the uh, seminar, seminiferous tubule, we can see germinal epithelium or uh, like what to say, uh, at different stages of sperm development. Okay, different stages of sperm development. If you see over here in this diagram, you see spermatogonia, that is one stage of development. Okay, some cells we see at the spermatogonia stage. Okay, some cells we see at a primary spermatocyte stage. These are what? Different stages, different stages of sperm development or sperm formation. Okay, sperm formation and the process of sperm formation, the process of sperm development is called as spermatogenesis. Understand it? And all these cells get nourishment from the Sertoli cells. So you will see always every cell try to remain in close contact with Sertoli cells. Understand it? And here the Sertoli cells are, see they are fairly larger as compared to all other cells. Understand it? They are fairly larger as compared to all other cells. Clear about it? Is spermatid. It is also a developmental stage of uh, sperm. Okay. Remember, sperms are never fully formed inside the seminiferous tubule. The, they completely form inside uh, epididymis. So here we will never see a sperm which is completely developed. Okay. Every sperm is incompletely developed. Understand it? Clear about it? Yes, ma'am. Now, the next thing, as I told you earlier also, in one testicular lobule, I'm telling you this several times, one testicular, lo testicular lobule, at least two to three seminiferous tubules, fine? Seminiferous tubule, okay? Two to three seminiferous tubules. Now, when I consider these two to three seminiferous tubules, they are lying side by side and they keep some distance in between them. Okay. And whatever distance between them, there are patches of cell. There are some patches of cell. Here you can see that, that patch of cell, correct? One patch of cell you can here clearly see. These cell, cells are called as ledic cells. Ledic cells. Okay. Ledic cells are even called as interstitial cells. Another name for ledic cell is what? Interstitial cells. Basically, any cell which is located in between are called as interstitial cells that you will understand slowly. But these are the cells which secrete hormone or secrete male hormone, hormone testosterone. Testosterone, fine? Testosterone is secreted by, uh, it's uh, secreted by basically ledic cells. Clear? And ledic cells are located outside the seminiferous tubule, but inside testicular lobule. Clear about it? Any yes, doubt? Sir. Any doubt? This is what? A section of seminiferous tubule, right? Anything which you don't understand in this? Any doubt about it? Hmm? Uh, production of sperm that is done by seminiferous tubule and second function is uh, production of testosterone which is done by ledic cells also called as interstitial cells. Clear? Today only five of you are there. Most of you are absent. If you remain absent for one class, you miss a lot. And I am not going to share a video. Only in emergency, I will go. I am going to give you. If you are uh, like missing classes only for time pass, I am not going to give you video. I am not going to give you that facility. And I know no one watches video and learn. No one ever watch it.
okay if like three four lecture means you will accumulate like one two hours of content and you will you will not watch it okay so let's go to the next point now next point in the male reproductive oh, sorry next point in the male reproductive system is uh, production of sperm okay we will complete a male reproductive system uh, system in a continuation okay now see we have seen a whole male reproductive system its primary sex organ what is present inside the testes okay what are the different different cells present now let us talk about the very important function which is conducted by a uh, very important function which is completed by testes that is production of sperm okay now production of sperm this process is called as the spermatogenesis see the process called as spermatogenesis means what production of sperm spermatogenesis is what production of sperm now uh, sometime they ask you very simple question that location where does this process takes place okay and remember uh, the whole process is completed inside the testes inside testes but if this inside testes option is not there then uh, like sometime uh, you know basically it come it uh, like spermatogenesis process take two steps to complete that means half of the process takes place inside the seminiferous tubule and half of the process uh, completed inside epididymis okay so you need to write answer by checking options okay but epididymis is also located inside the testes correct so uh, you know any option could be correct ha huh? yes ma'am can you see the page number in ncert book where this topic is uh yeah just a second now huh? let me check where the ncert book is one second yeah page number 47 page number 47 of ncert and your textbook one second i need to check your textbook we have right now over here one second ha huh? your textbook page number also to tell you Yeah, same. Seminiferous tubule is on page number twenty of state board book. Okay, then this production of 